This is a very technical video, just how to get from the AI Rhythm Helper all the way into Sibelius and a melody. I'm going to go through this in class and give you time to do it with the composition assignment from the unit called Sound Impressions. So the first thing is to have had a look at the rhythm brainstorming page and come up with some rhythms that suit the style. So we did that in class and here are mine. The next thing you want to do is paste them into a word file. I'm going to paste them in one by one. I'll save, I'm just going to call it A4 Rhythms 1 and I'm saving it in my assignment folder. So the next section of this task is open Sibelius, go to the import tab and open Photoscore, import the PDF I just made, edit any mistakes, but you can do editing later, and then send to a Sibelius file. So here I go. Import tab, Photoscore. We use this in the term three assignment, open PDFs. That's gone in pretty well. It's just missing a time signature. And I'm not sure why it thinks that's wrong, but I'm going to just do control three and it's just it was missing the bracket, so it was misreading the rhythms. And obviously that's not a nine eight, so I'm going to do control three. I usually just send straight to surveillance. And I take all the default things here, just let it go and do its own thing. And it should just open. So before we start capturing them into the score ideas, I recommend changing the instrument to the instrument you're going to use, which in my case is violin solo. And then I suggest either capturing them in two or one bar lot. I'm going to get rid of what's on there and just go back to blank. And I want to have an approximately an eight bar melody to get started with. The overall piece needs to be a minute long or 32 bars. So I just want to probably have one or two melodies of about eight bars long. I'm going to start thinking about my melody and how I'm going to make it. So I, I want my first melody to be fairly relaxed. <clears throat> so I think I'm going to start with this rhythm and maybe I might repeat it again and then perhaps use this one and maybe then, because I don't want to get too busy, I might just put a semi-brief. So let's think back to my original ideas. I had some extra in those, I think. you know there's no reason why I couldn't tie more. So that's not a bad idea. I've got a little idea. I've got a repeat of that idea. I've got something similar and then I've got to finish off it. So this is really quite nice. I might select the whole eight bars and capture it and call it you know my melody draft one. So the next stage of this is to make some sort of shape. You want to start somewhere, finish somewhere. So I'm going to stay in C. And because this is the beginning of the piece, I think I'm going to start on middle C. And what I basically want to do is draw some sort of shape to come to a climax and then come down. You don't actually have to literally draw. I just did that in the review annotate so I could keep in mind what my shape might be going to be. So if I want my highest note to be around here, I could just move this to a C maybe. And then I want to come down gradually. And at this point, don't care what the actual notes are. I know this sounds incredible, but we're going to use another plugin to choose the actual notes. So I'm going to start on C and finish on C. And I want to go up a bit to sort of a middle climax arrangement. So maybe as far as that, that could go up a bit. And at this stage, I'd be saving and making a version and just calling it Graph Melody Shape, version one, yeah? And they're, they're dated. So that I can double click and do Transform Scale. I'm in just the white notes of C major, but I think I'd like to play around with some alternatives. So how about I try Whole Tone? That's going to change lots of the notes. And this is the point where we start deciding. That sounds right and it looks right because it's got F sharps, G sharps and B flats. Okay, so I call this old tone and I have a listen to it. And then I could undo it back to Control Z, back to white notes and transform scale again and try the major pentatonic. 
call this a new version and just put C Pentatonic. If you prefer to look at a previous version, you can go back and look at it, or you can edit versions and go back and find the whole tone one which you like better and make that the current version. They're all saved in the versions history, so I'm just going to press escape. That'd be an okay first draft in terms of its shape and its notes and whatever. I would make a few tweaks in the final process, but it's playable. It is in whole tone. It's got a sort of mysterious flavor to it. So the next thing we really want is dynamics, yeah? And typically the dynamics follow the shape of the contour. So I'm going to go alpha line and put a crescendo in. So we're basically just following the shape of the melodic contour most of the time when we're doing dynamics. And obviously if this was a violin part, I could think about bowings. So I'd probably put an S for slur and put that all in one and then maybe down. So now we're getting a bit closer to what we want to do. We could do any number of other little twiddles at this stage, like maybe some little grace notes, just to sort of channel Nossian a little bit, a couple of spots, and I might make this a new version, just make some notes on what it is, whole tones with dynamics and ornaments. I think I need to make the climax a little bit louder and I think this opening C I need to diminuendo down to have a greater sense of phrasing. So this is about a third of your assignment. It should take you about an hour. It takes me about 20 minutes because I know a little bit more about what I'm doing in Sibelius. So hopefully we can get at least two melodies like this with some chord ideas how would you choose the chords? I'll just finally do that. I'd suggest using I'd suggest using a chord font at the same time. So hopefully you could try a C major seven chord and see what that sounded like. You know, it's not perfect, but it gives you a bit of an idea of what's going on and you can make some decisions. Like, good luck.